What is up everyone? JD here. I hope you're all doing well today. Today I'm excited to bring everyone a little blade battle. I have something very special in mind here so let me go ahead and bring out the contenders because I'm going to be doing a budget button lock face off. I'm going to be doing this with the CJRB Feldspar and Civivi's Conspirator. I thought these two were really interesting. I'm gonna bring this camera down just a little bit. I just realized how high up I have it. Apologies, probably not getting a really good look at these two. I thought this would be a, actually a very interesting matchup between two full-size folders that have button locks and have very similar intents behind them. So in the past, I've kind of done this really structured i had a system and everything in place of what i was going to go through and today i wanted to try to mix it up a little bit and just kind of freestyle freehand whatever you want to call it and run through them the first thing i'm going to do though because i don't remember off the top of my head the weights on these i'm actually going to go ahead and do a scale weight so that i can actually give you what they are weighing and then we can talk about the rest of the dimes. So first up is the CJRB Feldspar Button Lock, 3.6 ounces, very respectable weight for a full-size knife. Next up is going to be the Conspirator. I'm not quite sure what that is. Let me get that on there one more time. I totally dropped it. So 3.8, so both of them are sub four ounces. You can give that to the Feldspar if you want to, but I think that there's a little bit more blade on the actual conspirator versus the feldspar. So I think that's probably why you're seeing that. You see got more blade out here towards the tip. <clears throat> that's probably a little bit of a factor. Let's go ahead and talk about the steels while we have that topic up. The CJRB Feldspar has their in-house AR RPM 9 blade steel. It is done in a satin finish and it is a very subtle drop point very thin behind the edge but it does have a more medium geometry all throughout the rest of the blade as it rises up through that flat grind it does have a very nice sharpening choil but if you see here where the reflection is it actually doesn't have that much of a sharpening choil on here because it does have a very long plunge grind let me bring it in a little bit closer so right where the thumb is ending is where that plunge grind actually stops. It's really hard to show it up with the satin, but you can really tell when you look down here, you can see right where the actual plunge grind stops on the knife. I like AR PM9 because it's a little bit of a better option in my opinion than D2. So I have, in my opinion, 8CR OS8, then you jump immediately into D2, and then you get into the 9CR, then there's AR RPM 9, then you jump up to 14C28N Nitro V 154CM. In my opinion, of the abilities and the well roundedness of the steel, so this has really good edge retention corrosive resistant and toughness not as prone to chipping so i do like this steel a lot and it is a really good steel let's talk about what's on the conspirator conspirator has a really nice drop point you get a lot of flat here for any of your push cuts it doesn't rise up as quickly or i guess as soon i would say it's not as quick because you do still get a lot of belly here um as far as the actual blade shape goes, you get more of a drop point, so it drops down a little bit further. So I like that a lot. This is really thin behind the edge, and it has a thinner geometry all the way up through the actual knife itself. It's a little bit thinner. I know it's kind of hard to tell on camera, but the Nitro V here on the Civivi Conspirator is thinner. I think Nitro V is the better steel here, better toughness, corrosive resistance, edge retention just an all-around really good performing steel nitro v has a really good edge from civivi when it comes i've had gosh man i don't even know how many nitro v steel blades i've had i've had quite a few and i've been very happy with the performance i would put it at 14 c 28 n level performance maybe a little bit better than that um very much on par also i think with 154 cm as far as the performance that I've seen from it, how it's hold, held an edge and everything of that nature. I like the finish on the Civivi better as well. It has like an acid etch, then it's finished off with like a stone wash, which I think looks really good. It hides 
all of the fingerprints which you can see on the actual CJRB feldspar you you know you just got to touch it and you're going to leave a fingerprint on it so that polish although it does save quite a bit of money um, not a big fan so in this instance for the blade all around everything on the blade I would give that to the conspirator next we're going to actually talk about the handle material before we get into the pivot or deployment this has a very smooth micarta i know it looks textured but it's very smooth and very slick i find sometimes i actually slip around trying to operate the button lock on this one my fingers want to slip down as i try to kick it out and i think part of that is because of the detent on this knife but it's very smooth it is contoured so it contours all throughout starts low comes up high and then drops and then it's flat on the scale side so very comfortable and it feels very grippy in your hand as your hand starts to build up some moisture from making contact with the blade so it does feel grippy in that regard but when you get to here that's where i'm saying the slickness kind of feels like it's slipping in and out of hand now with the conspirator i actually like the micarta on here the way that it's finished a little bit better because it does have some roughage on it as you can probably see right there so it almost looks like it's fuzzy on the camera and i don't know i'm definitely not giving you a technical description but it does feel like it has just a little bit more texturing it also is chamfered around on the edges so you have this flat thickness to it and then it's chamfered on the edges so it feels extremely comfortable on hand so again for the material in this instance and i know that they have different options that you can get on the conspirator but for me i like the micarta finish on the conspirator better let's talk about handle shape since we're talking about ergonomics this is really good the cjr cjrb feldspar is just like the feldspar it has a really nice spot to lock you in it feels very comfortable and very natural the contouring does help also make it feel very nice in hand and i very much like that a lot very good contouring straight back with a little drop on the end nice cut into here for your finger to rest into like a guard and it has a nice teardrop back here for the pinky to rest on to so really nice doesn't have a true choke up this is so rounded you can't really choke up if you needed to do the push throughs comfortably you can do it don't get me wrong but it doesn't it kind of pokes into the hand just a little not super hot but you can feel it it's not very comfortable and i would imagine for long periods of time um that would probably get to be annoying or uncomfortable with the conspirator i really like the no nonsense very neutral position again i like the thick chunkiness of the way that this feels in hand and it is very filling all the way from the top of the handle to the bottom it just feels so comfortable in hand this has the same issue for the choke up you have the flipper tap here that kind of pokes into the hand if you wanted to choke up and do your push cuts so again not going to be very uncomfortable so both of them have a disadvantage there but i do prefer in my opinion the thickening the thickness of the conspirator and i like the fact that it just feels so comfortable in hand something about this neutral position just feels super comfortable and I really do like that a lot. So I have to give that to the Conspirator as well, but both are really good for ergos. While we're on the this half of the blade, let's talk about the pocket clips. Both have reversible pocket clips, so they both have a equal score for me there. I will say for me, <clears throat> let me close these and bring these up here. For me, I would give this one actually to CJRB. I much prefer the style of their pocket clip because it lays fat and you feel less of it in hand both of them though perform extremely well going in and out of the pocket for a carry they perform really well they catch really nicely and they hold really well both have about the same spring tension so i really wish that um Civivi would just move to this style i think cjrb is smart to do their pocket clip like this i think it looks better lays flatter and it you know disrupts the ergos a lot less so i would give the looks to the cjrb feldspar but it's a tie for both for performance going in and out and for being reversible now let's talk about the action and the pivot both have ceramic bearings hang on one second and i'm going to bring my through knight here this is 
uh, my through night T1 really like this one a lot I use this with my organizers so I'm gonna use this to kind of help you there you go you can see down in there you got the ceramic caged bearings in the bronze washer not the nylon and then here you can see same you have oh can you see it I don't know if you're gonna be able to catch it on camera try to get a good angle there you go you can see there you have or can you that might be not really sure I know you can't see this one here but this actually has ceramic bearings on a nylon washer so I would give this one to the um, oh I brightened it shoot sorry about that let me dull this back down a little bit I would actually give this one again to the conspirator because it does give you the metal with the ceramic bearings that I think are going to be a little bit less prone to damage but the tolerances are so tight on this knife that it would be super small debris that gets down in there so don't be discouraged by the fact that there's nylon with ceramic in here because the action is riding on the bearings and it's pretty durable they're nice little slabs of uh, bearings nice little slabs of plastic that the bearings reside in now let's talk about the action now the action i'm going to start with the feldspar the feldspar has a very for my example because i've seen other creators say that they've either had a very light detent a solid detent or a heavy detent mine actually had a very or has a very heavy detent so you have to give it a lot of force to get it out and it's so heavy that I can't without loosening up the button a little bit and I still can't reverse flick it. It is super heavy. The other thing with this one here, I'll say I, it took me a while to finally with Loctite and the pivot get it into a spot where it wasn't constantly backing out and coming loose. But it is a very heavy detent. You can't really reverse flick it and it's a little concerning that it slides when you go, I mean, cause there's nothing to grip onto, but the detent's so heavy and I'm having to push so hard, the knife wants to move a around a lot in hand. You only have the one means of deployment, but the action is smooth from the button to close and the lock stick that I have had is completely gone. It is not there at all. I mean, it is really smooth and it will come out and kick out. There's absolutely no lock rock on it whatsoever it is locked out solid side to side and there is no pivot lash or side to side with disengaged with the button so i would give this an overall action wise an eight deployment i'd give it a four so we'll go ahead and split the difference and call it a five because it is uncomfortable with such a heavy detent the thumb studs are starting to bite into my hand but I, again I've seen other models where the detent's not quite like that. Maybe I have like a burr somewhere uh, on the lock. Maybe it needs to work itself out. I don't know, but I have flipped this a ton and you can probably tell, no, maybe you can tell right there where you can see my thumb's been sitting a lot from trying to deploy it and just trying to work it out. Cause I really do like this because it is, I think it's what 60 bucks. And you're getting a button lock with a very good design and a very popular model uh, that's really hard to beat but far as action this one here I, I think the action's good but the deployment with the thumb studs and the super heavy detent on it are just really uncomfortable um, I have noticed so if I close it really gently I can man I still can't get it I was able to on a soft close get it to deploy but now and even trying to twist the button around and just trying to oh man I don't know why and it is heavy like oh man did you see how white my thumb turned there I mean I am like it is killing me to push it I mean I you see the indention I don't want anyone to think like I'm exaggerating or being dramatic but it is crazy crazy maybe it was that 
if I closed it hard, yeah, if you if you close it hard, you can do it, but it's the same thing. You probably can't notice it as much here, but gosh, I still have a dent <laughs> on my thumb with the light, and I just closed it soft. I do have a dent still on the left thumb from, there you go, from trying to open it. So for me, this is not that great. Now, while the action on there is really good, what I'll say is the entire experience with the Conspirator is very smooth. So when you deploy it with the flipper tab, it is very smooth. When you close it, button lock has just a little, a little bit of lock stick and i i've said this on every video that i've ever done button lock reviews on the button stick is going away on this one or has gone away on the feldspar button lock but on the conspirator it has remained and i prefer that because i know that that means i will not have to worry about lock rock because the tolerances are so much tighter but that little bit of stick just feels nice it is like a tactile response to the thumb and it kind of lets you know that you fully disengaged it and be prepared for that blade to close and drop if you have it you know upright now the other thing i'll say is that you get two means of deployment here you have the fuller so you can reverse flick it and with this fuller you can thumb flick it now it's not quite that satisfying to thumb flick it with that fuller because for me it's really tight tolerances and it feels kind of mushy so you have to push it down in but by the time you do that you're kind of pushing down into the blade and you're creating resistance and it feels sloppy coming out like that i prefer either the flipper tab or just to get that full and reverse flick it and overall it's just much much smoother feeling now as i mentioned the drop on this button lock feels really smooth you do feel actually now that i'm doing that you do feel a little bit of the d -d 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 the bearings riding not not bad not awful but you do feel a little bit just like z -z -z. it's not quite d -d 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 -d. it's like brr -brr -brr -brr. like you can kind of feel it bumping a little bit but you don't feel it at all in the conspirator is still locked up yep and i already checked the play to play side to side so really i have to give the action overall action to the conspirator now the other thing that i want to talk about as well is i've noticed that with the um the micarta when cjrb is doing it with inset liners i've noticed that there's a little bit of play you get some play and a little bit of flex going on not awful but you can feel it moving around and i kind of wonder because if i loosen and tighten and get everything lined back up i've noticed because i was trying to get the pivot right because it kept backing out i noticed that after i did that like after i moved it around and jockeyed it around a little bit and kind of squeezed a little bit the action gets smoothed out a little bit see there it goes again it's it's almost like yeah if i twist this way trying to go this way man that thing is awful if i try to twist that way a little i'm not doing a really hard but I do notice that it gets a little bit better in performance. But what I'm saying here, the reason I'm bringing this up, I feel like the recessed liners on here might be a little bit too thin or they may need to right behind the button maybe, or maybe bring these up a little bit to secure the frame a little bit better. It just feels a little soft I would say that if they made a G10 or a real full carbon fiber handle for this, it would probably remedy that. While I love the look of the micarta on here, it just doesn't feel, it's definitely durable because it's not going to collapse. Like I'm pushing it as hard as I can and I can't tell if you, if you can see that it flexes a little bit. It really isn't as bad here and I think that's because the standoffs and the pivot and the um, standoff here. Or more solid but it has no support underneath so I'm wondering if that's part of the reason why it can move around like I can feel it pulling away 
as I do that. So I feel like the inset liners, even though it is a cleaner overall look and it does feel more contoured and um, it feels like a little bit better quality, I guess, because you don't have that. I think that's where Civivi, I've noticed they're always doing steel liners with the micarta on top and they give you a good thick liner on here. I think that's part of the reason why I like this so much. It has, it is more thick. So if you don't like a thicker, chunkier style knife, this probably is not going to be where you would give this to, consp to the conspirator. But for me, the conspirator is actually feeling much better in hand. The ergo is feeling better in hand because you have the steel liners. You don't have any flex going on. The frame and everything feels much more solid so it feels like a tougher knife overall whereas you feel like with the feldspar button lock just a little bit uh, a little bit weaker when you're comparing the two side by side i also like the fact that they let the um they chamfer down the liners but they let it stand proud a little bit there so i think that adds to the contouring because it doesn't feel weird like it doesn't feel hot anywhere it actually works really well together in my opinion they both have um, lanyards. I would give this to the conspirator though because the barrel for the lanyard is actually integrated in between the steel liners, whereas this is drilled through. So I really don't like that. Plus, if you put your lanyard on here, if you're a lanyard guy, the lanyard's coming out. So it's just now it's getting all thick back here. You got this lanyard sticking out, whereas this sitting up and down, um, you're really not going to feel that taking away from the ergos on there. Now, as far as the price, I mentioned this is slightly over $70. This one here is slightly under $60. So, price-wise, it does go to the conspirator. The question is for $12, $14, $16, $16, whatever the difference is, it's less than a $20 difference, is it worth picking up the conspirator over the CJRB? I would say for probably less than the price of a quarter of a tank of gas in today's environment, <laughs> I would have to say pay the extra money, get the conspirator. It has a smoother action, dual means of deployment, better steel, better micarta, better frame, better ceramic bearing setup, better lanyard. Over and all, I just I feel like the conspirator is the best value button lock out there on the market now there's a few that i haven't tried i haven't tried the assassin i know some people are going to say something about the assassin and i have picked up the white mountain knives exclusive bag lighter and i will at some point in time do a comparison to the conspirator because i feel like it's the hands down winner here i feel like the cjrv cjrb feldspar was a really good attempt it has solid ergos, solid price, solid materials as far as steel and handle material. Um, D10 is too hit or miss. I either see people saying it's really mushy, really bad, or really solid, really locked up like what I have. Um, the other thing that I didn't mention that I forgot to mention, the button lock is recessed into the material on the conspirator, and it's also higher up, closer um, to the front of the knife. When I say higher up, I mean higher this way on the knife so it's actually less in the way when you're holding it in hand however when you look at the feldspar it is proud and when you go to hold it in the choked position it is completely flush with the thumb the contouring does deter from running into the button to the point where you're disengaging it but i feel like if you slipped you you have that possibility whereas i feel like if you slip here because you're not directly over it it won't make a difference. So that's the last thing I wanted to touch on. So hopefully this video has helped you if you were looking at these two or if you're looking one or the other, maybe help you with considering which one to go with if you haven't. If you picked up the Feldspar, it is a good buy. It's a good buy. I'm not knocking it saying it's bad. I'm simply saying in this video that the Conspirator, in my opinion, is better. So don't take that to mean that the Feldspar is a bad button lock. Again, it's not D2. Hallelujah. Thank you, Feldspar, for making your own steel. It is good materials. You got ceramic in the pivot on your bearings. You have micarta. I don't really like the overlay carbon fiber that much. I still feel like it looks really cheap. 
I know it is carbon fiber laying on G10 and that frame probably feels better because of that to be honest. But eh, I love the pocket clip on the Feldspar as well. I think that is definitely better on the knife. Um, I love the little pop of color here, but I think the micarta and overall ergos on the conspirator are just better, guys. I just like it better. Hopefully you enjoyed this video. If you did, do me a favor, leave a like. And if you're not subscribed, consider subscribing and following along. I'd love to have your support. And thank you to everyone out there that supports me and the channel. I really appreciate that. I hope all of you have a fantastic week. And until next time, peace.